All right, guys, so for the fuel door, I've got this here, which is the black button, which is a little plastic button. Instead of having to use your key like this over and over, um, you just have a black button, press it, and it comes with little springs to make this spring actuated. Instead of you just press a button, it does nothing, but it'll, it'll open itself up. Um, so that's the part number. You can search it on our website, highrevsgarage.com. We can get you one of those. All right, guys, so there it is. I just press the button. Gas door pops open. Spring in here. Just a little button there, simple. Close it back down. Works pretty good. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is take off this 80s looking foam rubber pad here. And it just essentially just pries up out of here. It's got a little metal backing, but I can get under it. It's just double-sided taped on there. And I'll clean that up and then put the new one on. You'll check it out. Man, that looks so much better. All right, there's that part. And again, the rubber that I used here was the rubber from the Genesis when we did that. Got a little extra left over. I've used it in a few different projects now. Works really good and it's a lot cheaper than buying some of the other stuff. So, but I'll put links to as many things as I can in the description. Um, and I've also got this plate, which is there for the shorty seat. Kind of finishes out the rest of the tank. But you can see that that right there doesn't line up. And I had one of these on the red bike and it did the same thing. These don't fit where they're supposed to fit. So they're really kind of crappy. So you gotta grind the ends of it down just to make it work. So we'll do that next. All right guys, the tank is done. It's bolted up, it's not leaking. Dash is on, button is working. Dash plate, got the extension on, things bolted up, new rubber. That looks really, really good. It'll look even better when I get these emblems on here and the emblems look killer. All right guys, the last thing on the dash, I did get another fuel door here. So, um, matches gauges a couple other things adds a little more blacked out look to it i think it'll be pretty nice get that on there so that looks way better now looks really good so move the push button over it still works there so and then i got a couple other pieces for the top of the dash up here so see how those look so I ordered these gloss black covers that kind of cover up the top. They make them in chrome also, but I, I thought the gloss black would look pretty good, but I'm not sure how much I like them. All right, guys, don't forget you can get $25 off of ceramic coating, the Armor Shield 9 from Avalon King uh, by putting High Revs 25 in at checkout at avalonking.com.